How are we doing? Zappola. 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 It's because I'm in ketosis. <laughs> She's in ketosis and I'm sober, so we're getting things done the first try here. <laughs> and I'll go like this. <laughs> Unbelievable. We got a whole afternoon ahead of us. We, we haven't drank in three and a half days, girl. Right. Even are we? <laughs> are we? All right. One shot wonder. Yep. I ate glitter yesterday. I was drinking out of the glass. I'm like, that was full of glitter, but it's fine. It'll just be sparkly poop. <laughs> One of my um, daughters, actually, Grace, had glitter in her diaper once. Yeah, my kids too. And we weren't sure how it got She there. probably crawled around and got on her hands, and then they were like, <laughs> and then out comes sparkly poop. Yeah. All kids poop glitter. It's when the adults poop glitter that you want to like be a little concerned. <laughs> I think I've pooped glitter before. Actually, <laughs> I kind of want it. It'll be fun. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Craft Tale Therapy, where today we are sipping some rosé from our new spring collection for Hallmark by Lolita. And we're going to take you on a tour through the spring sets we've been working on for the past couple of weeks. So you may have noticed we are in a whole new studio. Look how gorgeous it is. So we designed this entire set as part of our spring transition. I'm um, obsessed. Yes, this so is the new content creation room at New England Photo Collective. And my friend Shannon from Premier Home Staging came and helped us design all of this. She done good. Yeah. She's she done real good. So we do have another episode coming up where Shannon's going to come in and we're going to interview her on some awesome design tips. Yes. But in today's episode, we're going to talk about our more creative spring sets outside the normal, you know, couches and chairs. We actually did some incredible florals. We did um, some of the backgrounds. I actually hand painted the backgrounds. And then sent them to my background producer, Intuition Backdrops. She printed them out, sent them back to us, and then we really jazzed them up with layering with flowers and textures. We used our barn doors that yes. we had painted a couple episodes ago. And we upcycled a couple things too. Like we kind we of did. reused some florals that we saw fit for like the new sets and yeah. we were able to reuse things that we had used in the past. Yeah. Which is nice. floral set actually, we, we, I used to have a, a flower wall and we actually took the flower wall down and broke it apart with um, clippers and whatever, and we turned that. We totally repurposed that whole thing. I don't think you spent a dollar on one flower in no. that area. No. Everything was either yeah. there or we just shopped your yeah. inventory. In the terracotta set, too, that yeah. you guys will see today. That was all repurposed stuff. Mm -hmm. So we did pretty that's good. Besides paint, I, we bought a lot of paint. Right. But if that's the only investment, and you were doing pretty good for yeah. a 4,000 square foot studio space. Yes. We can get thrifty. We can take the florals and spray them the colors that we need or, you know, pull things apart and design them in a different way, and then you get a whole different look, but using the same thing. Yes, if you're a photographer so who's watching this, that is what I did for years at my old studio. I would just had a giant prop room, and I would always pull stuff out and recreate it, always yes. like put a different spin on it. Because to be honest, I get bored pretty easily. Me too. So <laughs> if somebody asks for the same set over and over and over again, I'm like, oh. I'm over it. I, yeah. But if you can always add a little twist to it or something interesting, then I think it keeps you involved in the creative process and excited about creating. That's definitely a creative brain thing. Yeah. I get bored too. Like yeah. if I decorated my house like this, like in three months, I'd be like, okay, yeah. something else. And that's actually what we're going to do here. We're yeah. going to change it out like Good segue. Yeah. <laughs> we also today wanted to share with you guys these amazing Lolita's glasses. What is so cool is that when she sent these to us, these were the only three in the entire U.S. We got them. We got them before Hallmark did. Woo! So special. So I love these. This one says mom on it. Like what a perfect Mother's Day gift. I know, look love how it. pretty. And it's got all the flowers on it like mm -hmm. we love. And then this one is got the recipe on the bottom and this is called the Hearts A Million too. And the recipe on this one is club soda, pomegranate, rosé. Oh my God, oh, yes this, this drink is called I Love You Mom. Oh, I love you Strawberry liqueur, <laughs> lime juice, seltzer, and Sauvignon Blanc. I would like that Ooh, one a lot. That's I love, you know us, like we love the fruity liqueur <laughs> with the wine and the ice. And this one doesn't have a recipe on the bottom, but this is spring floral. And I love this one. These are gorgeous. Like they put flowers in it. Don't they look so cute in our stats? They do! They're so pretty! So, so thanks, Alita, for giving us this VIP treatment and access to these exclusive for Hallmark glasses. So these will be available at Hallmarks everywhere this yeah. spring. Yeah, yeah, yep. I just, oh my god, I just judged you with my eyes. I went like this. All right, let's take our rosé and head to the sets. Cheers, friend. Cheers, friend. 
All right, guys, for the gorgeous flower birch set, we found champagne tissue paper and thought it would be the perfect accent to soften the birch trees in the background. So we cut leaves out of the tissue paper and hot glued them to the branches by the thousands. <laughs> We realized after doing a couple of the trees that if you actually put the tissue paper leaf directly over the little mini bulb, you get the ultimate glow. Oh, love it. The more texture, the better, we always say. So we added some of these feather hanging pieces and of course, Heidi strung some fabric for softness. I mean, hello, gorgeous. Next up is the terracotta set. So what I'm just saying is you nail it at the very, very top. Yeah, why don't you come on this end? Okay. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Oh, oh my god, this is so pretty. Is it? Okay. I do like the idea of the lying down bar door. Like different monkey, yeah, because our, our the pots like that creates like the clean line, like yeah. the 90 degree angle line, and then the pots yeah. will tipsy turvy, yeah, build it like go the other door here, and then pots we could have a pot up here, your yeah. florals tucked into yeah. everything, so like a completely off. asymmetrical. Remember the barn doors from a couple weeks ago? Well, yep, we're using them in the terracotta set, along with these winter florals that we will turn into spring. All right, so then this comes out of a pot, that little arrangement comes out of a pot. Totally different look. Or not lay it down, but just get freaking blood pressure back to my arm. All right. <laughs> All righty, next up we're taking multicolored textured Rust-Oleum spray paint and we're hitting our plastic terracotta pots with it to give them an authentic terracotta feel. <laughs> it's all about tricking the eye into thinking it's an expensive item when it's not. <laughs> And it's a windy day. Never spray on a windy day, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you spray on a windy day, you pay for a triple the amount of spray paint. <laughs> I'm thinking, do you want me to put a couple? <laughs> Just like in the back, so it mimics that side, everything's fine. Macaron's distracted, yeah. Mm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my so god. good. Beats my green juice. <laughs> That's for sure. The um, a little chewy. chewy. Mm -hmm. mm. With that buttercream. So good. This was fruity, magically delicious. Literally. Okay. Some people say zapoli, zapoli. My Italian grandmother was like zapoli. Oh look, another official day tester. Yay! Yeah. This is Sean, by the way. Our husband. One of the craft tail husbands. <laughs> Zeppola. 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 Cream is the actual Zeppola cream. And it had a cherry in the middle. So, mm -hmm. so, good. so good. Look at the mess we made up. <laughs> what is wrong with the mess? Oh Thank you for helping us become the professional taste testers that we always wanted to be. Guys, Luna loves macaroons, and you're gonna love them too. <laughs> so that was all the fun footage of the sets at New England Photo Collective, and now get ready for next week because we are airing a trailer. So all of our bloopers and shloopers and... <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. We're taking a lot of our footage, and we're actually gonna tell you the story about how we originally met and decided to create our YouTube show. Yes. When we release the trailer, we're gonna go live together on YouTube if we can figure it out by then. <laughs> and if we can't figure it out, then we'll just go live on some other platform like Instagram, but you'll be we, able to find us. We feel like our people need an introduction, like an official introduction yeah. of how it came to be. Definitely. I jumped out of my truck and the rest was history. <laughs> it's amazing. I remember that day fondly. Mm -hmm. 
If you liked today's episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Tell us what you think in the comments below and subscribe to our channel so you never miss when a new episode drops. Because you don't want to miss it and you know you love us. Stay tuned. <laughs> I just, oh my God, I just judged you with my eyes out like this. It's a renegade mic. It just like. <laughs> renegade. What's that? I don't know what to stop it. You know when your bra is like off to the side and your boobs are just flapping around in the wind? Uh, the first bra I put on this morning, I didn't even fill it. Like, if I was sitting here, it would be like weighing my shirt down with from the padding. <laughs> and I don't fill it at all. There's no boobs in there. And mine are, spit, mine are like spilling out. Why is What is happening to us? Well, because you're losing weight and I'm gaining weight. Perfect. If you liked today's episode, yeah. <gasps> I'll go like this. Okay, send the round up, put your shoes on. Thank you. <laughs> Let me hold it. Equi. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, you have something in your teeth. It's lipstick. It's okay, you're in the this other one? side. No, it's black. Oh. Yeah, you're in the right tooth. No. That's pepper. Oh, wait, you got it, you got it. Yeah. Lick your tooth now. <laughs> camera again. I know, we Hang on, I'm going to tilt mine. Guys, we're rookies. Oh, that's, there you go. Oh, look at you. Silly Genius. girls. You would think the photographer would have figured that out, but apparently <laughs> not. Oh my god, it looks so freaking good. Oh, telling you. Okay, the husband's shit talking ends now. We're on camera. That's right. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm gonna wanna get broccoli cheddar soup today again. Yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Awesome. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't even secure it yet. I just shoved the tickle wire in. Shoved it in. Um, but yeah, maybe just we'll stick those big stupid flowers in. Yep. With some I other shit. some grasses.